Creating websites is always exciting, but creating beautiful ones is what satisfies. Angular in itself is a great framework to help you build websites, but in order to create eye catching websites easily, you can simply incorporate Bootstrap with Angular. So, hey everyone, welcome back to an exciting new session from Edureka. My name is Vajiha, and in this Angular Bootstrap session, you'll be learning how to create Angular applications using Bootstrap. We shall first begin our discussion with a small introduction to Angular and how to create an Angular application. Then we shall see how to incorporate Bootstrap into Angular using two methods, that is, by making use of the Bootstrap CDN and using NPM. Finally, we shall see how to create an Angular application without manually having to write the HTML or CSS and by just making use of the Bootstrap elements. Please make a note over here, guys, that to understand every bit of the session, you will require to have a prior knowledge of how to install Angular, Node, the Angular CLI, and Visual Studio Code. However, if you have no idea about that, check out the Angular 8 tutorial video from Edureka. So, before moving ahead with the session, let us take a look at the website that I've created using just Bootstrap and Angular. Now, since I'm a football fan, I wanted to create a simple FIFA website for the upcoming World Cup at Qatar. So this website basically has different components that give you various information such as the latest news from FIFA World Cup 2022, some official videos embedded into the website, booking tickets online and the stadiums, etc. Now let me just show you guys how I've done all this. The uppermost region of my website contains a navbar. This navbar contains links to all the pages that I've created in my website. If I click on any of these pages, I'll be redirected to that particular page. One more thing I want you guys to note is that for redirecting, you can simply type in the address of that page in the address bar itself. Next up, I've made use of carousel images. So as you can see over here, I basically have three carousel images. Followed by that, I've created a jumbotron that contains cards having the latest news updates from the FIFA World Cup 2022. Next, I've created another jumbotron wherein I've embedded an official video from FIFA World Cup 2022. So this was the home page. Now let's move on to the venue page. So just like the home page, I've embedded another video on the venue page. Now this video will basically show you all the stadiums that are constructed for FIFA World Cup 2022 at Qatar. Also, I have a separate card that will allow you to book tickets online. So basically, when you click on book online, you'll be redirected to the ticketing section of the FIFA.com website. Next up is the locations page. Now this page basically contains the images of all the stadiums and a small description about each of them. Not just that, I've also created a drop down list over here. So when I click on any of the stadium names, that particular stadium's image will appear. So this is the website that I've created without manually having to write any HTML or CSS code. All I've done is just made use of Bootstrap along with Angular. So if you want to create this website or even better ones, let's move on further with the session. So first of all, what is Angular? Angular is an open source web development framework that is maintained by Google. It is based on TypeScript language, which is a superset of JavaScript. Angular is immensely popular for various reasons such as Angular being open source and cross platform. It is very easy to use and allows you to create full fledged professional websites with very little code. Angular allows two way data binding by which you can change the views through the models and the models through the views. It also provides tools in order to perform end to end testing. Angular's IV helps in debugging, reducing bundle size and faster compilation. Angular also allows ahead of time or AOT compilation. So that was a small description about Angular and its features. In case you want to know in depth about each of these, check out the Angular 8 tutorial video from Edureka. Now let's move on and see how you can actually create Angular applications. So what I'm going to do is open up the command prompt. So what I'm going to do is just create a new website by using the ng new command. So I'll just type in ng new followed by the name of the website. You can give any name of your choice. I'll just call it as FIFA World Cup. You'll encounter two questions when you're trying to create a new application. The first question will be if you would like to add angular routing to your project. Since I'm going to make use of angular routing, I'll just type in Y and hit enter. Next up, you'll see what type of style sheet you would like to use. Since I'm comfortable with CSS, 
I'll just hit enter for CSS. Okay, so now this is going to take a while. So now our project has been created. Now what I have to do is just get into the project directory. So I'll just type in CD and the name that I've given previously, which was FIFA World Cup. Now what I'm going to do is just run this application. When I run this application, you'll be able to see a default welcome page from Angular. So in order to run this application, I'll make use of the ng serve command. So I'll just type in ng serve and then I'll type in an hyphen O extension. Hyphen O or open is going to open this website on the local host, port number 4200. Okay, so this is the default welcome page which says the FIFA World Cup app is running. Now what I'm going to do is just clear up all the HTML that is displaying this default web page. So to do that, I'll just open up my project. I'll just type in code dot. And over here within the source folder, I'll open up the app folder. Then I'll open the app component.html file. And except the last line of this page, I'm going to delete the rest of it. So now just to see how our application is going to respond. What I'm going to do is just type in hello world. I'll save this and I'll get back to my development server. I'll have to rerun the development server. So I'll just type in ng serve and I'll hit enter. So as you can see over here, my application is working fine. So I shall modify this application progressively as we move on. So now let's move on towards the next topic of this session, which is what is bootstrap. Bootstrap is an open source HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework that is used to create mobile first and responsive websites. Using bootstrap, you can easily create beautiful and responsive websites by making use of its readily available layouts, components, utilities, etc. So how can you embed bootstrap in angular? There are basically two ways by which you can embed bootstrap into angular. The first is by making use of the bootstrap CDN or the content delivery network or by making use of NPM or the node packet manager. Now in this session, I'm going to cover both of these topics. So first, let's see how you can embed bootstrap by making use of the bootstrap CDN. So using the bootstrap CDN, you can make direct use of the bootstrap content delivery network or the bootstrap CDN. This is going to deliver the cached version of bootstraps compiled CSS and JavaScript to your angular application. Now to access that you can directly go to the bootstrap CDN link. Now you can get this bootstrap CDN version from the official link. So I'll just type in bootstrap CDN over here. And I'll hit enter. So as you can see over here, I have all the CSS and the JavaScript that I need for my project. The first thing that you'll have to do is copy the CS style sheets link element. And then get back to your project. Open the index.html file and paste it at the end of the head section. So I'll just paste it over here and I'll save this. Next get back to the official page and from there copy all the three script tags. Now this is in order to incorporate jQuery and popper.js into your applications. So just copy this. And paste it at the beginning of the body section. Just save this and now get back to your development server. And as you can see, Bootstrap has been successfully embedded into our application. The font that we saw earlier before adding this and the font that we see now after adding the Bootstrap CDN links is very much different. So this was the first method. Now moving on towards the second method, which is making use of the NPM. So what I'm going to do over here is just delete links that I pasted over here. And I'll save it again. So now I'll get back to my command prompt. And over here, I'll type in npm install bootstrap jQuery popper double hyphen save. So that is bootstrap jQuery popper dot JS double hyphen save.
So once you've installed these packages, you'll be able to look at them within the package.json file. So as you can see over here, Bootstrap, jQuery, and Popper.js have been successfully installed in my application. So now the CSS and the JavaScript must be loaded globally. And for that, what you have to do is specify the path within the angular.json file. So I'll just open up the angular.json file. So as you can see over here, there are two arrays that is the styles and the scripts array. Now what I have to do is specify the path of the CSS as well as the JavaScript files in order to incorporate them into my application. So all packages that you install to your application will be present in the node modules folder. So just open up this folder and over here look for bootstrap. So here it is. Now within this bootstrap folder open up the dist folder and within that open up the CSS folder. Now for my project, I'll be making use of the bootstrap min.css file. So what I'm going to do is incorporate the path of this file within the angular.json file. So what I'm going to do is just see the path which is node modules, bootstrap, dist, CSS, and then bootstrap min.css. So what I'm going to do is get back to angular.json file. And within the styles over here, I'll just incorporate the path. So as you can see over here, I've specified the path of this bootstrap min.css file. Now what I have to do is include the scripts. So I'll just come to the scripts array. And since I already have the code present in my previous project, I'm going to copy paste that. So I've included all the required CSS and the JavaScript that I want in my application. Now what I'm going to do is save this, get back to my development server, and I'm going to rerun my server. So I'll just type in ng serve. Even after I've removed the bootstrap CDN links from my index.html file, bootstrap seems to work in my application. This means that I've incorporated it successfully. So now let me just get back to my project. And over here, I'll open any of the HTML files present in my project. So the base HTML file that is present right now is the app component.html file. So what I'm going to do is just remove this hello world and I'll open up the official bootstrap link. And over here, I'll click on get started. So from here, I'll pick up a nav bar. And since this is for demonstration purpose, I'll just copy the first code present over here and I'll paste it in my project. I'll save this and I'll get back to my development server. So as you can see over here, the nav bar has been successfully embedded into my project. This is not the nav bar that I've used in my project. So what I'm going to do is for the app component.html file, I'll just paste the code that is present in my original application. So as you can see over here, I just copy pasted the code which is present in my previous project and I have the nav bar that I would like to use. There are a number of options over here guys. You can choose any one of your choice. You don't have to stick to the one that I've chosen. So the next thing that I'm going to do over here is open up the app routing module.ts file. And before editing this, what I'm going to do is add in some components to my project. So I'll just get back to the command prompt. Just clear the screen. And like you all might know, to incorporate a new component in Angular project, you can make use of the generate command. So I'll just type in ng generate. Next up, you must type in the schematic. The schematic in this case is a component. So I'll just type in component, followed by the name of the component. So basically, I'll have three components that is home, venue, and locations. So I'll just type in home. The next component will be venue. Sorry for the name. And next is locations. So I have incorporated three components in my project. Now what I'm going to do is get back to Visual Studio Code. And over here within the app routing module.ts file, I'll specify a path for each of these components. Now since I already have the code for that, I'll just copy paste it from my previous project. Another reminder for you guys, in case you're not aware of any of these files or paths or any such details, please check out the Angular 8 tutorial video from Edureka. 
I'll have to import the components over here as well. So I'll just copy that. And I'll save this. So now in case I have to redirect to any of these pages, I can do it easily by just specifying the path in the address bar. Now this element over here, which is path match element. This is actually an optional property. By default, it will be prefix. Now why I've specified full over here is because in case the user does not type in the right path, the user has to be redirected to the home page itself. So in case the user just types in ven instead of ven ue, which is venue, the user is going to be redirected to the home page itself. So now let's get back to our project and see how this is working. I'll rerun my project. So as you can see over here, the home component works fine. Now let's redirect to the venue component and see. So venue is also working fine. And then was locations. So all the three components are working fine over here. Now what I'm going to do is get back to my app component.html file. As you can see over here, within the anchor tags, I've specified a router link property. Now this property will allow me to redirect to any of the components that I would like to. So if I open up the nav bar and over here, if I click on any of these, I'll be redirected to that particular component. So the first thing that I'm going to do is modify the home component.html file. So I'll just clear the data that's present over here. And the first thing that's present in my page is a carousel. So what I'm going to do is just get back to bootstrap and over here I'll select carousel and I'll just take any of these codes. I'll just copy it, get back to my project, paste it, save it and rerun my server. So as you can see over here, the carousel images have been added, but you're not able to see them because I've not specified the source. I'll get back to my project. And I'll paste the code that I've already written in my previous project. So as you can see over here, I've included carousel images in my project. Similarly, if I open up the venue component.html file, what I'm going to show you guys over here is how to embed a video in the project. So what I'm going to do is just get back to the official website. And over here, within utilities, I'll click on embed and I'll just copy this code. Get back to the project, paste it, save this, and then open up the development server. Okay, I'll go to the venue page. So as you can see over here, a video has been easily embedded into my Angular Bootstrap project. Similarly, guys, you can choose any of the elements present within Bootstrap and simply embed them within your project. I've already shown you guys how my end project looks. So all I've done in my project is chosen some of the elements present within the bootstraps official website and I've simply embedded them within my project. You guys also can customize your own website according to your choices. So this brings us to the end of the session. I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned something new. In case you have any doubts or queries, please do let me know in the comment section and I will revert to you at the earliest. We'll be back with much more exciting videos, but till then, goodbye and take care.